नमस्कार गाइस, आई नील एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेकंड वीडियो इन आवर सी सैट शॉकिंग सीरीज वी हैव स्टार्टेड ऑफ बाय डिस्कसिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन एंड एज वी हैव स्पोकन इन आवर फर्स्ट वीडियो सी सैट हैज थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट द फर्स्ट इज कॉम्प्रीहेंशन सेकेंड इज लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एंड थर्ड इज कॉन The reason why we decided to start with comprehension is very simple. Comprehension is the most ignored component, which has around twenty-seven questions. And if you have seen our first video, you would realize that comprehension in itself is by far the easiest section out of all three. The basic principles to solve the comprehension questions remain the same. Before we begin, we will just go over those basic principles again. common sense will take you to places since this exam is for you know selection of bureaucrats the passage would not be too critical of the state it won't be too critical of the state so using these dictum before you read the comprehension passage select a preferred option after selecting the preferred option then read through the comprehension passage and within a minute you would arrive at the right answer in 9 out of 10 cases we have seen some of these principles at play in our discussion of the first eight questions in our first video here we intend to try and understand and try and analyze the next eight questions before we start you know i just want to uh, give a result update yesterday the results for indian forest services were announced and i was fortunate enough to find my name in the list of successful aspirants so uh, i'd be appearing in the interviews really soon thanks a lot for all the wishes that you been sending in my inboxes and that is the reason why i was not able to upload the video yesterday so we'll try to finish the video asap so that uh, you know csat doesn't act as an impediment in your preparation let's start with question number 21 the basic principles are pretty clear i'm certain common sense and quick skimming these are the two steps you need to keep in mind let's see if they are effective if they work um, in the next set of eight questions or not so question number 26 i would reiterate before reading the comprehension i read through the options and i try to find a preferred option based on the common sensical principles that i have spoken about so question is which one of the following statement best reflects the critical message okay india's energy decision making process is ever more complex and interconnected could be i don't see an extremish connotation in the statement i'll hold i'll read through the next statement next option it says india's energy and climate policy is heavily tuned to sustainable development goals now heavily tuned has slightly extremish connotation so b is not going to be my preferred option now once i go through the comprehension maybe i will override my heuristic and if i see a keyword association related to our policy being heavily tuned to sdg i might pick b but through the During the first reading, B is not going to be my preferred option at all. Why? Heavily tuned has an extremist correlation. Let's look at option number C. Option number C says India's energy and climate actions are not compatible with its broader social, economic, and environmental. Again, that's a judgmental statement, and it's a really harsh statement to say. and in this examination very seldom do you have statements which are overtly critical of our work overtly critical of the work of the state so again in all likelihood this is not going to be the answer maybe again i keep reiterating the same thing over and over again some of these heuristics might seem too far fetched to you at this point in time and that is because you're seeing some of these questions in isolation maybe this is the only the second video in the series once you see the comprehension questions from across the spectrum starting from 2013 till 22 you will see the same pattern being repeated over and over again and then i'm certain you'll be more convinced look at statement number option number d option number d says india's energy decision making is straightforward supply oriented and ignores the demand side 
अगेन इट्स अ जजमेंटल स्टेटमेंट इन द ऑफ केस कुड बी करेक्ट बट दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी माई पेपर ऑप्शन सो आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू ऑल द फोर ऑप्शन ए सीन्स मोस्ट लाइकली इन माई आई बट आई नेवर मार्क दी आंसर बिफोर रीडिंग टू द कॉम्प्रीहेंशन सो जस्ट पॉज द वीडियो within 30 seconds after pausing the video read through the passage you would find that it is not a coincidence that in the final in the, in the first passage it says india faces a challenging immediate future in energy and climate policy making the problems are multiple this is directly related to what statement number option number a is saying you won't find a direct one to one correlation in the entire passage with either option number b c or d so two different ways corroborate make us arrive at the same option which is option number a if you know you are still confused pause the video go back i think two to a half minutes watch it again it'll make more sense i'm certain look at then let's look at question number 22 so 22 says which of the following statements best reflects the critical message conveyed by the passage okay a says people should avoid consuming the products of animal farming a very judgmental statement a very imperative statement it is trying to tell people what they should or they should not do i don't think this is the right answer b says foods of animal origin should be replaced with foods of plant origin again a judgmental statement in my eyes i am not going to mark the answer yet but i'm just trying to pick a preferred option and b also doesn't look like a preferred option to me in my eyes based on the exhaustive analysis of previous questions let's look at c using antibiotics on animals should be banned again this has an extremish connotation it is not talking about regulation regulation is healthy but using antibiotics on animals should be banned sounds very sounds like an extreme step to take D says antibiotics should only be used to treat diseases. Now, D and C, there's a very slight resolution. There's a very slight difference between the message which is being conveyed by C or D. C speaks about absolute ban, and D speaks about subtle regulation. So, for me, in this question, D seems like the most preferred option. And now you know why. Why? Because it doesn't have an extremist connotation. For one, number two, it is soft. and it is not an imperative statement it is not guiding you it is just making a very soft suggestion making a regulation oriented suggestion before we mark let's look at the passage again too so the soft says uh, pause the video read through the passage and in the essence you would realize that it is the essence of the passage relates that is the message it trying to convey that antibiotics have a lot of problem but then banning them cannot be the solution you need some tacit regulation which comes in the form of you know using the antibiotics only to treat the diseases and let's look at the next question question number 23 question number 23 says now i'm not happy with the solution uh, i got a negative in this question and i still don't understand why the uh, you know why the answer is given as what it is given <laughs> and we we shortly see why so the question is with reference to the above passage the following assumptions have been made which of the above assumptions are valid chalo let's see oil producing countries are one of the reasons for high food prices sounds like a soft statement and again more often than not the passage doesn't go far away from the dictums of common sense and general awareness so one sounds reasonable to me who says if there is a food crisis in the near future it will be in the emerging economies could be correct could not be correct i can't make a judgment on that yet i'll have to read through the passage to be sure about two i am nearly sure about one at this point in time right so so in my eyes the answer is either between a or c let's read through the passage pause the video read through the passage in 30 seconds you would see that says policy makers and media have placed the blame for skyrocketing rocketing food prices on a variety of factors ठीक है, including high food prices, bad weather, and the division of land to non-production area. So, for me, you know, one being right is set in stone. One is correct as far as you know my understanding of the comprehension goes. Let's look at the next statement. It says increased emphasis, however, 
has been placed on a surge in demand for food from the from the most populous emerging economies it seems highly probable that mass consumption could be well poised to create a food crisis again i think this line relates to the statement too which is being spoken about so i very confidently marked c not only did i mark c in the examination hall even if i were to attempt this question right now i would still mark c as the right answer but to my surprise as per upsc's official key the answer given is option number d i can't make sense out of it so for me the answer should have been c maybe i'm missing something that is why i say you will never be able to have a 100% hit rate uh so you would have to give yourself the leeway of being above the cutoff by at least 20 20 15 marks that is why i say the cutoff to clear c side is 66.66 If you follow these dictums well, I can assure you, you get eighty plus, and you'd have a safe distance from the cutoff in the sense that questions like these would not hamper your chances of clearing CSAT. If you have a better counter proposition, if you think I'm missing something in this question, please comment. In my eyes, the answer should be C without any doubt. Answer according to the official key is D. Question number twenty-four. Question number twenty-four says, with reference to the above passage, following assumptions have been made. Okay, let's see. Rising GDP is essential for a country to be developed. Country essential, बिल्कुल भी नहीं. Not at all. Common sensically, it is incorrect. Economic के principle से it is incorrect. मतलब I don't even need to read the passage for this. Of course I will. But common sensically, I already am going towards the preferred option. ठीक okay? है. Let's read through the second statement. A rising GDP guarantees a reasonable distribution of income to all households, not at all. In my eyes, the preferred option at this point in time is D, because I know common sensically the even you know the passage is not going to go far away from the dictum. The common sense is all likelihood the answer is D, but I never mark the option before reading through the passage. Pause the video as always. Take thirty seconds read through the passage. You would realize that. nothing of that sort has been talked about it has not spoken about the fact that rising gdp is essential nor has the passage spoken about how rising gdp guarantees so common sense and reading through the passage a quick skim through both of them lead to the same answer which is option number d right yeah, so common sense is pivotal i can't state it enough i can't state that now i mean common sense you if you've seen the videos on prelims analysis gs1 analysis you can see the common sense is pivotal in gs1 i mean in prelims gs it is pivotal in csat if you have seen my video on the internal security analysis how to common sense is pivotal across the board that is the bare minimum that it will take you to places i mean of course you have to read you have to work hard but you can never let go of the dictum of using common sense Let's look at question number thirty-one. Question thirty-one says, "What is the most logical assumption that can be made from the passage given above?" Okay, let's see. No man can live without adhering to some religious denomination. Sounds like an extreme statement. This would not be my preferred option. It could be the correct answer. Maybe I'm going to read through the passage once, and I'm open to changing my mind. but while i am reading through the options this sounds like an extreme option it is the duty of everyone to propagate one's religious denomination again sounds like an extreme statement to understand the passage the author will never more often than not the author would not write an extreme statement like that so very confidently i eliminate b option number c says religious denominations tend to ignore the unity of men tend they not so so the option is soft the statement is soft the statement doesn't say religious denominations always ignore the unity of men or it doesn't say religious denominations uh, excessively ignore the unity of men it has a soft tone to it it says religious denominations tend to ignore the unity of men so until now this seems like a preferred option for me let's look at option number d men do not understand their own religious denomination again a very judgmental statement right and i don't think so before i read the passage c you know is my preferred option why a b d have extremish and judgmental connotations to them okay i'm not going to mark in the omr yet i'm going to read through the passage before right 
passage what did the passage say passage say with respect to just pause the video go to the passage in 30 seconds you would realize that you know it says if everyone it doesn't speak about a it doesn't speak about b it doesn't speak about d ideally it doesn't speak about c either but very tangentially here it says you know, tend to ignore the unity of man here you say that it has an indirect tacit association with statement number c when it says that you know you cannot be a good judge of your own religion but uh, you know uh, all the world is right or wrong uh, they are if you know there is no such thing as religion that is wrong there to be judge of each of this religion no such thing as religion that is right and therefore all the world is right indirectly try to say that you know we have a underlying unity uh, you know unity of man and that sometimes that resolution is that is is lost in the eyes of the religion a b d very confidently you can eliminate so rather than uh, accepting an option elimination uh, is more likely to get you to the right answer because when I, even when i was sitting in the examination hall i was also not very happy about statement number c but i was very very very, very sure that you know in no world is the answer a or b or d right let's come to question number 32 Which among the following is the most logical and rational inference that can be made from the passage? Okay. Sedition, war, and breach are inevitable in every dom dominion. Now I think you're starting to see the same pattern that I have seen over the past five years. <laughs> Extreme statement. Are, are you able to see it or not? I'm certain you are. I'm certain you are. I eliminate A. B says it is not the people but the sovereign who is responsible for all the problems of any dominion. it's playing the same trick over and over again and once you get the knack of the trick once you get the knack of finding the trick it becomes really obvious extreme statement c says the dominion is the best that dominion is the best which pursues the aim of unity and has laws for good citizenship logically relevant you know makes sense makes sense for me this is the preferred option until now but i, I still am going to hold i'm going to read through option number d option number d says it is impossible for men to establish good dominion again a very judgmental extreme statement so my preferred option before reading the comprehension is statement number c option number c let's read pause the video go through the passage in 30 35 seconds you would come to the same conclusion nowhere does uh, the author at any point in the passage speak about statement number a statement number b statement number d so indirectly c is the right answer so maybe we just a short sometimes you would not find one to one correlation with the right answer but you would find one to one a lack of correlation with the other statement so that is you know one approach that you should keep in your mind common sense will take you to places this also common sensically is correct logically is correct a b d common sensically also logically are incorrect you have a preferred option but always read through the comprehension right Let's look at state question number thirty-three, the second last question of the day. This is with reference to the above passage. The following assumptions has been have been made: equality is a prerequisite for people to participate in multiple transactions, society from a position of confidence. Could be, I mean, sounds like a positive statement, sounds like a common sensical statement. But I'm going to hold. I'm not going to eliminate one for sure, for now. Two says occurrence of inequality is detrimental to the survival of democracy. Also sounds logical, and I don't see a reason to negate it yet. Statement number three says, "Equal standing of all citizens is an idea that cannot actually be realized even in a democracy." This is a very judgmental, a very negative sort of sort of a statement about democracy, and uh, again, it has an extremist connotation of all citizens is an idea. So I'm not too happy if I. Were to eliminate one option, D sounds like the most eliminatable option out of the four statements. So, if I eliminate three, and of course, again, I would reiterate, I'm not going to mark it in the OMR yet. I'm just trying to pick a preferred option. If I eliminate three, B and D, neither of these are going to be my preferred option. My preferred option is going to be one between A or C. Right? Let's see. Statement number D. for right to equality should be incorporated into our values and our day to day political vocabulary again i have no strong reason to negate it yet sounds like a positive statement and common sensically again sounds correct so my assessment tells me that one to is correct one is there in both of my preferred options so either two is correct or four is correct 
both cannot be correct at the same time there is no option which says 1 2 and 4 so now i'll have to read the passage again you know viewers i request all of you to pause the video go through the passage in 30 40 seconds if you've done it you realize in the final paragraph says that the idea that one should treat persons with respect not only because some of these persons possess some special features of talent for example skilled cricketers gifted musicians but these persons are human beings by common sense morality right which means that not only because but because is related to you know this number 4 and that is why i would prefer 4 over 2 i don't see in the entire passage any uh, you know any any statement which is directly related to number 2 occurrence of inequality is detrimental i don't see that one to one correlation but number 4 should be incorporated in our values and day to day political vocabulary is related one way or the other from this part of the passage and that is why i very confidently mark uh, what c which again turns out to be the right answer but very confidently you can eliminate 3 in the first go even while reading through the passage you would realize that nowhere has the author spoken about the fact that you know it is an idea that cannot actually be realized so you common sense and quick skim through of the passage have to work in tandem final question of the day which of the following statements best reflects the crux of the passage okay human societies experiment with different different forms of government okay very soft statement sounds right common sensically also is correct i'm going to hold any form of government tends to deteriorate by excess of its basic principle any form of government sounds like an extreme statement not my preferred option c says education of all citizens ensure a perfect functional and sustainable democracy of all citizens again all citizens ensure the perfect functional i'm not happy because i have an extremist connotation here even though this sounds fancy and this sounds non judgmental i'm going to hold i still don't have a preferred option here i mean i'd prefer a over b or c until now b to for sure i'm confident because it has any form of government it is it has a very extremist connotation in my eyes i'm going to hold b says having a government is a necessary evil because tyranny is inherent in any again a judgmental statement i'm not too happy about it so before before reading through the passage if i have to pick a preferred option a is my preferred option now understand this is where the catch lies that is why i keep telling you not to mark the option before reading through the passage if i were to not read the comprehension passage and mark it only based on my heuristics i would very confidently mark a a is soft a is non judgmental and a is also common sensically correct but once you read through the passage very quickly just pause the video read through the passage in 30 seconds in the third line it says that even democracy rules itself by access of excess of democracy <laughs> read through it again but even democracy rules itself by excess of democracy so even though b sounds extremish but it is directly related to this keyword which is there in statement number 2 so that is why in this this is a special case in which i have to override my heuristic heuristically before i read the comprehension my preferred option was a i didn't mark i never mark the omr in the omr before reading through comprehension after reading through the comprehension i realized in the second line it speaks about the fact that even democracy rules itself by excess of democracy which is related now directly to step number b option number b and that is why in this special case i override that is why the methodology should be clear to you you know pick a preferred option 9 out of 10 times that is going to be the answer 8 out of 10 times that is going to be the answer but just to be sure that you know the question is not from two of those 10 cases you have to read through the comprehension try to find word association and pick the option that, which is then most preferable to you at that point in time so again you could see we have seen a book of questions the heuristics work like a charm but for them to work you also have to skim through the passage at least once or twice and it, it is not going to take you more than a minute in any case to read through any skim through any best passage you just have to look at the keywords you have to associate the keywords which are given in the options to the ones which are given in the statement and that is a good enough way to go ahead right so we have completed 16 questions out of 27 so far we going to have uh, you know a one final series on comprehension see set next time around we going to solve the best 11 and i think that will give you more confidence in days to come
then we're going to move to logical reasoning and then finally we'll conclude csat 2021 series with a discussion on quant i think that is it from my side thanks a lot for taking your time if you have any counter proposition if you have any doubts feel free to engage in the comment section if you have any feedback again feel free to make your opinion heard thanks a lot for taking out your time take care and i'm going to see you soon bye